What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm super excited about today's episode man. I've got my man Larry and we were just talking like Larry Ali. We were just talking for about 30 minutes already and I'm so excited a little bit about this brother and I'll, I'll let him tell his story and his backstory but some of you may or may not know that I've been in real estate over you know a decade. We have close to 200 doors now but in the past I used to do real estate ride-alongs and bring people to Indiana where a majority of my properties are, where I started out and show people real estate and show people how to get into real estate. And that's how I met Larry in person. He actually came to that event um, and he was just telling me like he's 5X his portfolio and now his Amazon business is crushing it. He's doing what really my blueprint is, which is rolling the money in Amazon, taking the money from Amazon, putting it into real estate. And it's amazing. So man, let's just go ahead and start and get right into it. Larry, if you could just tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Um, and about your journey before joining the AMZ Formula uh, program and before even the ride along, like what was going on? Uh, where were you? And like, what was the motivation behind doing all this? Okay, man. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Josh, man. I appreciate you so much. Like you said, my name is Larry Ali. Um, I'm the owner of Golden North Enterprises, which is the company that uh, my Amazon stores run through. My brand is Crescent Comfort. And my journey really started... Um, I was a, a football player. I was a four-star athlete out of Summit County, Ohio. I was um, heavily recruited, and then I ran into some trouble in high school. Uh, the trouble, it made me go to Akron U. I was not allowed to um, leave the state, right? So I kind of stayed in my neighborhood throughout my college journey, right? And while I was doing that, I was commuting from home to Akron U., and I was starting to have like issues with uh, just I'm, I'm growing. I'm becoming a man. I'm trying to find myself. So me and my mom was kind of butting heads. And um, the house next door had been vacant for a couple years, actually. So uh, my mother and, and, and myself, we got together and we contacted the owner. At the time, he lived in like North Dakota or something like that. So he was willing to sell the property and... He said he needed 8000 And I remember at the time, this is back in 2010. So at the time, I remember thinking to myself, like, well, I'm a college student. I don't have a ton of money, but I have 8000 So um, we made the deal happen. Make I sure you the pin property. the comment, bro. Um, it was structurally A-OK. -okay. Uh, it needed updates, though. Siding, needed a new porch. Just, you know, the, the nooks and crannies of when you get an aged property that needs to be reconstructed so it took me um it took me two years to get it up to par i was able to partner with a nonprofit organization called the embassy and mm. they gave me new windows um because wow. they were hired to eliminate lay of paint in houses that were ordered in 1970 in mm. summit county so they pretty much put thirty thousand dollars into my property for free wow i just had to apply for the grant and prove that I had um, a nephew or, or, or a son that was under the age of five, which was all legit, legal, and they they pretty much got my first property up together for me. So while I'm going through college, I'm still thinking that, hey, I got NFL dreams. I'm going to make it. But that little transaction with calling this guy, that was the start of my, um, my real estate, uh, the growth of it, right? So after that, um, I was able to purchase another home. It was actually my home uh, that my mother stayed in. So now I own two back to back. And I was saving my money up, you know, my actual personal money just from hustling and bustling, man. I'm talking about, you know, I'm starting businesses, a tire shop down the street, make a little bit of money. You know, it folds. Um, I'm, I'm washing cars. I'm doing anything that I can to make a buck. Because at the time, you know, we were going through the housing crisis, uh, 2008. So mm. where I'm from in Akron, Ohio, Summit County, homes homes were cheap. You could get them 8000 15 20 25 So I was kind of used to homes being cheap. So in 2015, I bought another one. It was like, um, it was 10000 And then around in 2018, I said, you know what? I bought two more. Um, the deal was to pay the back taxes on them, and I gave this guy 50000 for two properties. Wow. So in, in 2018, I said, you know what? 
I'm about to take this serious. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm spending. Now, mind you, if you uh, pay attention to the story I told, I'm really acquiring properties like every two years or so mm-hmm. because I'm, I'm saving my personal cash to purchase them in cash. So in 2018, I said, man, you know what? I need to find out how to 10x this thing as quickly as possible. Um, so I got into the books, man. Um, I start looking up guys like Grant Cardone. I was looking up Donald Trump. I'm trying to see like, hey, what happened? In the midst of this, you know, um, I'm Googling and then I come across this guy, man, Joshua Chris, living legend. My man. And he's speaking about digital real estate. So I'm, at this time, I'm hearing about different things about, you know, cryptocurrency and, you know, it's different just terms. So I didn't know what digital real estate actually was at the time. So I'm like, okay, well, what is this? You know, so um, I hop on an email, you know, I get on a call and I'm communicating with guys. And then my guy, uh, Marcel, he, he reaches out to me. He's talking. He's like, hey, man, you know, Josh has a, a formula, man. He's a millionaire off of digital real estate. He's got an Amazon store. And the, the concept is... You can have a, a what, what, what would be like a rent for half or a quarter of the price of owning a property. So, of course, I'm like, I'm all for that. I'm like, yo, what's up with that? So um, I pay uh, the, the entry price and I drive. I hop in my car. I don't know nothing. I drive five hours to Indiana, man, and um, we have a ride along. Josh has... Um, himself there and he has like other millionaires from the the, um, the e-commerce field and a bunch of people who are just eager willing to learn man he he's he bringing up guy i remember the one guy's name like he calls himself the e-millionaire and um he's like i made 15 million this year then there are a couple <laughs> other guys they're like oh i made a million i'm doing this so i'm i'm like well what's going on then josh starts talking about the formula how he made you know generational wealth through amazon but he's parking it into real estate and he hands everybody this binder. It's a black binder. I still got it. it, it it's never left my desk. Oh, so that's this fire. Is in 2019. This is in 2019. So um, October, November of 2019, put it in perspective. So in the, um, in the binder, I'm following it to the T. He's like, you can start LLCs. You get them aged. Um, once, once they're aged, like six months old, you can start applying for credit cards, you get everything, you separate your entities, because I'm doing everything through my personal account. Um, so at the time, you know, I purchased the uh, the course, the Amazon um, AMZ formula course. So I'm going through that, and now I'm also learning that, hey, I need American Express cards, gold, platinum. Hey, I can do this with a blue card. And now I'm in this process of transferring my, my companies, and now I'm becoming legit. Mm. So in 2020, I start um, Golden North Estates. A year later, I start Golden North Enterprises. Enterprises is the the e-commerce company. Estates is my official LLC, man. So from there, I do something that Josh told me. His advice was, he was like, you have five properties at the time. What I would do, he was like, you're in good shape. What I would do is sell it all and then scale. So at the time, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. You know, like, I'll get money from this and then I'll move up multi-units, right? But there was a key moment in this uh, in this ride-along, man, something that uh, paid dividends. He had us write down, you know, um, our goal. When were we going to have um, our first property after utilizing the things that we learned in his course? So if I remember correctly, man, I wrote down I was going to have my first duplex uh, by April 1st. Wow. Mind you, this is this is October, November-ish. So November, I go um, straight to the bank. I'm like, hey, I want to take out a home equity loan. I don't even mm. know what that is. I just know it's in a binder. Mm. They're like, they're like, oh, yeah, you, that's cool. Completely cool. Ran into some issues with some liens. You know, had to get that taken care of. It was a process in itself. But in the meantime, I was able to take out a conventional loan and I had my first duplex March 2020. Wow. March 3rd. Yeah, March 3rd. So uh, wow, 28 do days it. from the time I wrote down. And this is like, 
I'm laughing about it, and it's funny because it's true. It's no fluff. This is not like preconceived. Like this really happened. Like I got, I still have the binder with my handwriting from 2020 to prove it. That's crazy. You know, so boom. Now I feel like, hey, I'm official. But since um I've invested a uh, you know 25 percent down on this duplex, I'm still learning, right? So my next goal was to now I want to get into digital. I, I, I've, I've crushed this goal that I, I wrote with Josh, and now I want to get into the digital real estate. So I never gave up on it, right? Um, I know people say all the time, I'm going to do this, and but I knew I was committed. It just took me a little time. So I went back to the drawing boards, hustled, bustled, saved my money up, uh, made sure my portfolio was good. And then in 2021, man, Hit that guy up. Hey, I'm ready. We he did he did me a, a phenomenal favor though. Something that nobody really does. He trusted me and I invested the, the initial costs and he allowed me to make payments. He allowed me to make payments because at the time I, I had the cash, but I was in the middle of acquiring some properties and I didn't want my credit to keep continuously be hit. Mm-hmm. So I asked to say, hey, man, like legit, like I'm I'm with it. I can prove that I'm going to do it. Can you make this happen for me? And, and he, with a shake of a hand, he allowed me to make payments. And I'm so grateful and thankful for it. I paid him seven thousand every day, every month until it was paid off. And we got my first brand up and started, man. Crest wow. of Comfort. That's and, so dope. Um, it took a while. There was things going on. You know, the government's beefing with uh, China over imports and exports, um, all types of things that happened on our journey that kind of postponed um, us getting the proper uh, launch. But we stayed at it. I stayed patient. And um, we were finally able to march a uh, launch um, Crescent Comfort That's September dope. 2nd, 2023. And from September 2nd to December, mind you, it's, it's February 29th, uh, 2024 from september 2nd to december we went over 10k in sales man wow over 10k in sales let's go and, um, you got the award right the team said the, the award my man I got the award and it's it's uh it's funny man I, i'm legitimately like i got joy for real it's funny because i'm talking to my guy marcel man that's my guy i love him and he's like do you know what's going on right now and mind you i i don't so I, i'm watching the numbers go up right and I'm just like, okay, a thousand, okay, five thousand. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, he's like, you don't know what's happening right now. He, this is how he broke it down to me. He said, you are a brand new company. You don't have no reviews. You, you're killing it. Like you don't even know how good this is. There are thousands of companies marched every day, every month, and. I'm, they even got me to the point to where I was ranking. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, as I started diving into my studies, man, you know, it's taking this thing seriously. I'm um I'm researching e-commerce. I'm I'm going in. I'm 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 in the course. I've watched the course and studied the course probably over five times. And I'm starting to see, I'm saying, oh, we we got us a product. And the, the slogan is, you know, you're one product away. So that is kind of like um, we're leaving, you know, a bunch out my journey of what, how I got started and the process that led me all the way up until now. And I'm still implementing the same. And I, and I hear it's a new binder now. Oh, yeah, but I'm yeah. I'm still implementing the one from 2019. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, if you ain't got it, we got it. We got to get it to you, man. The binders are so powerful. It's, do we have that binder lay, laying around? I could, I could show them. That binder, uh, I love the binders. What he's referring to, a lot of you guys don't know, is like in our programs, in our higher tier programs, I personally write um, what I call these curriculums and these cheat sheets where there's literally chapters on everything. I just do brain dumps on everything I know, everything I know works, um, things that we're doing. And, and when I go and literally pay for mentorship, it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I take everything and I put it in here. So here's the new binder. I got to make sure I get it to you. But you can see, like, I can't show too much. This is top secret. But here you can see it's literally pages, like, literally pages and pages of, of, of a workbook style 
where I'm literally breaking everything down. So I'm gonna make sure that I get this to you so you can print it out and you can add it to the new binder. Um, but it's dope that you said that you still got that and that uh, you executed on it. Guys, if you watch the other episodes, the other interviews with clients that are killing it, I want you to hear like the common theme because I truly believe that everybody can be successful with the right choice, right? Because change happens by choice, never by chance. If you heard multiple different times throughout him talking, Larry says that basically it had to work or it had to work. There was never an exit strategy. There was only an open door, an opportunity, and he took and he ran with it, right? And he's constantly learning, constantly educating, constantly taking massive action. Um, I'm a firm believer that success can be simple. Um, you just have to take action and you have to execute. So talk like talk a little bit about your experience, Larry, because you've been in a few of the programs. You came to the real estate ride along. You joined the, the AMZ formula and then you, you went into the uh, to our higher tier program where you essentially partner with us and we help build a brand and with you and develop a brand for you. Talk about your experience like with the program and the team, because I don't really do too much talking about the programs. Uh, like we don't try to sell ourselves like I really. I generally believe one of my good friends, Alex Good Energy, says that if you over deliver, you'll be overcompensated. My whole strategy and why I started is really to just to give my gift to the world. I remember I was facing a 15 year bid and the day of my trial, like I told God, like I know nothing else. Like we all have these moments with God where we negotiate with God when we're jammed up. I told God, I said, listen, I don't have nothing else. I don't know nothing else. If you show me something, whatever you need, I got you essentially. So for me, after I made a million dollars and I became a millionaire from poverty and being in the hood, like th the money doesn't change who you are. A lot of people think like the money's gonna change, like the money will change your bank account balance and that's it, right? You're still the same person inside and really being able to give your gift away and help others is why I do this. So talk a little bit about like the experience with the program, uh, the programs and the team so you know people can kind of see behind the, the scenes, what, what things look like. My experience with the programs have been nothing but phenomenal, man. And I'm saying That's that. That's amazing. Sometimes people get caught up in these things where it's like, oh, we're, we're, you know, we're promoting, we're overcompensating. I'm trying to, no, man, legitimately. When I came to the ride along, man, mind you, there was an, there was an investment, you know, it didn't come for free and I it was a moment and I had to I had to challenge myself because I'm mm. an avid reader um I believe in um you know you're gonna get out of life with what you put in and I knew that that was a moment where I had to get into the room with people who knew more than myself mm. you know I had to find mentorship so there was a moment there were actually a few moments throughout working with you know, Joshua Crisp and the AOZ formula and going through the different programs. But I'm going to tell you, one of the major moments is uh, you took us through one of your properties. It was um, a multi-family unit, and it was in the middle of being rehabbed. And we were in a basement. And you were giving us uh, your life story. And I know everybody comes from different backgrounds. Yep. I, Me personally, I have no judgment, anything, whatever your background is. I'm fully supportive of it. But there was a moment where you were you were telling us how you had your wife, you just had uh, your kids, they're depending on you, and you were working these dead-end jobs, just getting up early, going to sleep late, trash jobs, just menial, um, tedious things that breaking your body down. And you're saying it, right? And then he just, he starts crying. And when I recognized he, he was crying, he said, I'm sorry I get emotional about this because they set these systems up for the regular hardworking individual to fail. And once you learn it, you hear it. But once you learn it, it's, it's disgusting. And I'm doing everything in my power to fight against that. Mm. When, when you said that, I started crying mm. because... That was my experience. You know, sometimes you'll hear people on television screens, you know, whether it's a social media or it's a politician, and they'll they'll try to convince you that, you know, hey, you, your situation is bad because you didn't go to college, because you didn't do this, or your parents, that's not my fault. And when Josh was real, he said, man, this is a system, and you have to learn how to work the system. 
and most people never even have time to even learn about the system. That was like, yo, that's a guy that I want to be with for the rest of my life. I want to be connected to that guy for the rest of my life. So I knew then. And then developing a relationship with um, Marcel and then meeting Eileen and different people that were on a team in a journey. I'm like, okay, let's go through this program. So bam, when I went through the AMZ formula program to learn about what I was getting myself in, because at this time I hadn't decided to partner yet. Um, the most, one of the most detailed, um, uh, learning programs I've ever taken. I've invested into, uh, you know, I'm a, so I come from a day trading background as well. I've been day trading since 2015, since 2015, I've probably taken four day trading courses um options cryptocurrencies commodities just learning different techniques um i've had courses on um network marketing you know so i've taken uh i had three different network marketing courses so i've i've, I've had my fair share of courses when i tell you that the amz formula course covered every question i had i used to type out questions in the email right and then before I would send it to Josh, I would I would go through the course to see if it was answered in there. And I would end up deleting and discarding that email. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, because it, it, it broke down every aspect of it. Um, the How to take a control of, of your situation. This is how you research. This These are the Chrome extensions you'll need to get the data. Mm. You're going to scrape to find this data. When you do that, you're going to go to this website. You're going to cross-reference it with this website. And then you're going to reach out to these people and you're going to speak to them. Some of them may speak English. Some of them may not. That's fine. You can have a translator or you can actually, you know, have go to this program and you can speak with them directly and it'll translate for you. So as I was going through the course, you know, I'm doing my own research and I'm loving it. And I actually truly wanted to take control of my own company with my own hands, but I had to learn something. And that, that message that I had to learn and grasp was that something's either going to cost you time or it's going to cost you money mm. for me to master this. And cause I got like, um, you know, I'm very disciplined and I'm, I'm very humble, but at the same time, I have an ego that drives me to be the best. So the time period that I started analyzing me going through this course in order to, to be the best at um, developing my own brands and, and launching them on Amazon. And then I'm cross-referencing that, like, oh, Walmart has a store, Shopify, all of these different aspects where I'm like, yo, this is going to take me some time to be the best at. Well, guess what? My mentor is the best. Why would I heard Jay-Z say something, too? He said, um... You know, why have a full grape when you can have 50% uh, of a watermelon? Mm. So me hearing and seeking knowledge and seeking mentorship and going through this, this first portion of the course, it led me to putting my ego aside and saying, you know what? I'm going to reinvest with the next portion um, of what Josh has to offer. And I'm going to partner with these guys because they are the best there have been like a ton of um you know businesses that have come and gone guys freelancers people who come hey we'll build you an amazon store ten thousand dollars you'll be a millionaire overnight these guys come in they do some rinky dink stuff that you can google um they literally slap you together an amazon store they do not get you an asin they do not get you a barcode they do not uh harbor the relationship with the suppliers they don't even know the suppliers right and then they sell it to you bam they get you out and then your business is stuck it's drowning you gotta sell it or you just gotta you know take a, a loss and um as i started getting into this process of partnering with amz you know i asked these questions and how does this work how does that work and he's 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 underselling it to me at the time i didn't know but he was underselling it to me. Hey, our company focuses on 
you know, getting you at least 30% returns on this and that. But, you know, it is a market. It's no guarantee. Um, we have a team of researchers that come in and they're paid to do this. This is what they do. They have their own Amazon stores. So I'm just like, you know what? Let's go for it. I've already like, I've already fallen in love with this family. And, and I don't say that lightly. I don't say that, uh, commercially. I don't say, it, um, to be corny. It, AMZ is really like a family. Um, I remember my first zoom meeting was, um, I think her name was Laura Cruz and she just made me feel at home. And I knew when I took that meeting, I said, you know what? Yeah, this is happening. I'm partnering with them. And then, um, so bam, we went through the whole process. They did the research for me and then they would send me, uh, potential products. Right. So they're like, Hey, you know, we found three products. One is in this niche, you know, it could be like the, the, the toy niche one is mm -hmm. in this niche over here. It might be the bedroom. And then, you know, a third one, it could be, you know, like uh, fitness. Mm -hmm. So here I am like, okay, well, where does my energy align? Where does my mind out of these um, products, where could I see myself? So it took me some time to sit back, visualize what I was willing to put enthusiasm into. So once I sat back, I said, you know what? I'm really feeling the bedroom niche because, you know, when I look around my bedroom, there isn't really a brand that I, I consider a go-to brand mm. person. Right. So I decided, I said, Hey, I'm interested in this. They immediately went to work on finding the perfect product for me in the bedroom niche. And, um, we were able to find, uh, the perfect product, um, a body pillow, and I'm looking at the numbers on the body pillow, right? You just go to a random store, you type it in, and then you got your Chrome extensions, and it's saying a thousand of these sold in this month, ten thousand of these sold this month, and I'm sitting back like, wait, there are people out there who are who are moving units like this, and um, part of the the greatest thing with partnering with AMZ was that. I can rest assured that I'm with experts. Mm. I'm with people who know. I'm fine with paying a percentage. I'm fine with being patient. I'm fine with every aspect of it because I know I'm with people that I trust, that I've developed a relationship with, and that for years now I've stayed in contact with. So it was nothing, man. It was nothing to, to, to trust the process. And I'm so glad I did because now we're on the brink of something great and we're actually getting ready to research to have more products. And this wow, gives me the opportunity to focus on my real estate company, which is my bread and butter at the moment. The fact that I was able to join the program, the done for you program is what it's called. I could jump into my company and add value to it when I have the time. But when I don't have the time, there's somebody right there, an account manager, a manager for the account manager, mm. and then people who, who are here to make you great. And it's been it's been a hell of an experience to grow a company simultaneously next to another company. And when I get this mastered over here, I'm going to come back and master that. And then we're going to put the things in place to allow them to be automated. And then we're going to start a different company. I like, that's kind of how I think. So it was nothing to join, man. And then uh, to be a part of like, you know, the, the Facebook groups, the inner circle to get updated information. And it's just like, wait a minute, hold on, wait. You, Josh just learned, he just took a meeting with some gajillionaires and they taught him how to utilize AI technology. And now it's uploaded and I get that now. What? Bro, this has been the process, man. This is the way. And I've had nothing but positive experiences. And it just going from one aspect, learning about the real estate, getting a binder, to learning about the course, going through there, how to develop these relationships with suppliers and whole, you know, like, and then it's like, okay, well, now we're in the done for you service and we're partnered. Uh, a plus grade all the way through.
Oh, that's amazing, the only thing man. thing that I would change is things that I couldn't change. The fact that, you know, the, 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 the Chinese uh, New Year. Oh, yeah. Or, you know, the government's uh, beefing with. Th those are the only things, but those are out of our control. You that's know what I mean? Fact. Besides that, everything's been good, man. So man, that's, that's been kind of like my, my walkthrough experience with just the different phases of, of doing business and having a mentor. And I'm just happy that we able to sit down and chop this up and, and, and give it back to the people, you know? That's a fact. No, that's love, man. Like, you hit on so, you gave so many just gems right there. I don't even know what to hit on. Like, for those of you, and I guess I'll try to illustrate it, but you did such a good job of just, you know, vocalizing it. Like, guys, the minute you stop learning is the minute you stop earning. Like, you, if you want to change your income, you want to change your outcome, you just have to change what you're doing. Like, it all, resol it all revolves around the change. And first you learn, then you get to remove the L and you get to earn. And he was talking about, like, I want you guys to grasp this because I talk about it all the time, but it's like, obviously, I have a pony in the race, right? Obviously, I'm the educator. I have a consulting company. So people sometimes take things with a grain of salt, as they should. However, the law of lessons, the, the law of lessons, the law of learning can only be done one of two ways, right? You learn through trial and error or through time and spending your own funds, these are all resources, whether it's time or whether it's money, you learn it through expending those yourself or you learn from someone who did, right? And if this is you and this is where you are and this is where you wanna be, it doesn't matter what it is and what type of development it is, I want you to look at these lines at, as stages. Every single stage there's going to be a hurdle and you don't get to go to the next stage until you overcome these hurdles, right? And the only way that you can overcome these hurdles is through one of two ways. Way number one, learn yourself. Or number two, learn from someone. It is a simple analogy. It's a simple framework, but people do not look at it that way, right? And I'm telling you now, like a book that I'm always recommending, like this guy needs to give me some type of affiliate link because I probably sell hundreds of these books for him, but it's a book called The One Thing by Gary Keller. And in the book, The One Thing by Gary Keller, it shows you how to make these quantum leaps. A quantum leap is going a hunt, like it's literally increasing the velocity, increasing the speed and moving from where you are to where you want to be or to the next level, the next chapter and doing so quickly, efficiently and easily. So how can I make these large quantum leaps? How can I literally go from where I am right here to literally bypassing all of this? And here's the thing I can tell you from learning yourself. I learned real estate myself. I learned Amazon myself. And in the first third of my life is gone. I plan on living to around 115 to 120. I'll be, I'll, I'll be 35 this year in December. Third of my life is gone. Yes, I've, I've amassed you know, a decent net worth. Yes, I'm a millionaire. Yes, I've done well for myself. However, I've done a fraction of what I should have if I didn't have stinking thinking for one third of my life. Where I grew up and how I grew up, I always thought to myself that why pay others? Why go to learn from others if I could just do everything myself? And that does work because you can learn through trial and error as well as spending and investing your own money. That's learning yourself. However, I promise you, you will always go further faster by learning from someone. So my one tip, one, my one strategy, what my one hack is to always learn from someone. So when Larry talks about learning from some gajillionaire, he was joking about AI. And we were just talking about this off record about TikTok shop and about other stuff. I find, what is the one thing right now that, the one lever I can pull that's gonna get me a quantum leap in my business or my life? Once I identify that thing, and it's, it's two questions. What is the thing? Number two, who is the person? Once you identify the thing and then you identify the person, you go to the person and say, tell me exactly how to do this. Remove all the potholes, remove all the barriers, remove all the costly, uh, expensive mistakes. Tell me exactly what to do. And once you do that, that's how you move. And that's what the rich, the wealthy, the wise, the successful in any industry, they all do that. 
And if you listen, Larry was dropping so much game, I don't even think he realized what he was dropping. He was talking about he's an avid uh, reader, and he was talking about studying the Trumps and studying all these different uh, people when it comes to real estate and becoming successful. Well, we talked about sports earlier, right? And, you know, I, I talked about how I will never really teach anything other than maybe Amazon or real estate. It's what I feel I'm great at. And then we referred to Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is an excellent basketball player, the greatest of all time. He was better than average, and he was okay at baseball and golf, right? Maybe amateur, maybe professional, and even though he was better than most, he was nowhere comparable to how good he was in basketball, right? And where I'm going with this is Michael Jordan had a coach in every area of his life, and I want you to see the common theme of success because success leaves clues. If the best in the world have coaches for anything and everything that they do, then it's obviously a cheat code. And one of Michael Jordan's coaches' name was Tim Grover. And I don't think that it's a coincidence that he also coached the other greatest basketball player of all time, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. And he was so powerful of a resource to Kobe and to Michael that they would butt heads with Tim and say, how much do I have to pay you not to coach him? This was, Tim, this was Michael's conversation to Tim, and this was Kobe's conversation to Tim. How much do I have to pay you to not coach anyone else and coach only myself, right? And I've had the pleasure of not only reading all of Tim's books, but listening to him speak publicly. So I just wanted to dial that in and take two, three minutes and dial that in because you gave so much game on that. And I want to transition into, you talked about the process, you talked about the team. Let's go into like the learning and implementation and the challenges and support. Like how would you, how, like how would you state um, how easy was it for you to be able to implement the steps and get up and running? Because you said you came from a sports background, from sports to real estate, from real estate to e-commerce. That's completely different. And I think so many people are falling victim to uh, analysis paralysis and think, stinking thinking where they know they want that change and they know they want to do something new, but they feel that, hey, I have no experience in this. I don't know what I'm going to do, how I'm going to get started. And then they end up never starting, Right. Um, so talk a little bit about like how easy was it to implement this? And then whenever any challenges came up, like how was the support system? Because I think the support in our programs are like one of the best out there. So initially, right, you will have like, um, you'll have doubts about anything that you start new. You'll have um, just things that, uh, that, that pop up that you can't control, right? So when, when I was starting off and and i was just kind of looking at everything right even when i first logged into the course at the first time i was looking and i said dang you know this is a lot of modules like this is this is heavy like this is this is gonna be hard <laughs> right yeah yeah, yeah. And so i thought so what i did right because you have to have um you have to have a, a thought process about how you approach things so when i was initially looking at the modules right i'm like oh man look at this 15 different things to study, right? I said to myself, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a module a day, right? I got my schedule out. You know, I'm going to wake up around this time. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to pray. I'm going to hit the gym at this time. I'll day trade at this time. I'll check on my properties at this time. And then around 1 p.m., I'm going to knock out one module. That was my initial plan, right? When I started the one module, I saw that wait a minute, this video is no longer than five minutes. And at the end of the video, he's telling me what to do, right? I'm actually not going to have to do this on my own. It was that simple. It was easy. Um, it looks hard. It feels hard. But when you compartmentalize, when you break something down and you, you take it step by step, um, you're going to start the LLC first. I'm going to put that on the calendar. And I started the LLC with LegalZoom, what he told me to do. This is my first time using LegalZoom. I mean, you know, it could be somebody different now. It might be Zen Business or a different, but at the time it was LegalZoom. So bam, dang, I'm already 10% done, right? And we're going to we're gonna settle on a brand name. So I sat back. Let me think. What gives me a feeling? What, you know, how do I want my brand to be seen? thought about it came up with it 
submitted it for trademark because if you you submit it for trademark then you can do brand registry which is also a program that amazon offers that helps propel brands that are you know non-generic or whatever you so should i keep it to a, that, an hour or under an hour the colors the designs got the recommendations uh, hey this is our design guy go here i don't have to find my own design guy like you know, because I come from a background where I like to do creative things. I've tried, you know, I've written a book. I never published it, but I've written it. You know, you have to go find a design guy to do the cover. Um, you have to, you know, I make music. Oh, you have to go find people to do the thumbnails. and You know what I mean? So I'm like, wait a minute. He's got the guy? All I got to do is press send. You know what I mean? And as I went through the course, um, the only thing that was hard about it was the mental. Am I going to do this? Yes, I am going to do this. Is anything going to stop me? No, it's not going to stop me. At that point, it became easy. It's literally planned out step by step. So I went through individually and I just marked off each and everything he set forth. And guess what? He always had somebody calling to follow up if I did this or not. Mm, and talk about normally, it. you know, I hold myself to a to a high standard. So I, I try to make sure things are, you know, I'm on top of things myself, but in the small instances when I did maybe forget to, to email this person or I did for, Oh, oh I forgot. I got to send it. I got to do this. There was always a team member following up two, three times a day. So what, the only thing that's um, harder than the process that I went through with AMZ is not going through the process wow. of AMZ. Because sometimes when you make a decision in life, and this is not just this is just in life, um, you're gonna you're gonna have some kind of obstacle point blank period. It's the way of the universe. We're all blessed to be like walking this planet, right? Thanks. And the, the the fact that you're walking this planet, you're gonna have some obstacles in your way. The only thing is what kind of obstacles do you wanna have? Do you wanna have obstacles on your way to the top? Or do you want to have your obstacles trending down? So this is my mentality. So it was it was relatively easy um, just following through and implementing the steps and having somebody to support me and have my back. And sometimes I would get upset and I would send what I thought was an aggressive email. Man, what's going on? Why is it taking so long? And, da -da -da -da. and I was always reassured, man. I was always calmed down. I was always... Um, just consulted like hey this is what's going on and as they're explaining to me what's happening i'm learning so yeah like it was it was to answer just directly it was relatively easy now if if you think uh what i described to you may be difficult or hard it is it, it could be but what's harder is getting up every single day and living paycheck to paycheck with mm. no way out that's that's harder and i'm not saying it just trying to be you know like some people are specialized you know mm -hmm. they go off they get a skill set or a trade and they can go out and they can make large sums of money at one time and but for most of us getting up every single day man where um you don't have a way out uh, that's harder so when you ask me how was it? How was the implementation? Was it easy? Was it? It was. It was easy. It's all laid out. If you can read and you can click a button on a computer, you can do this. You know, and it's as simple as that, man. That's fire, man. That's yeah. fire. So, man, that's fire, man. You you really uh, killing it, man. <laughs> Dropping in some game, like, because I think a lot of people they get in the position. I'm a firm believer, again, I look at success and I try to make it as simple simple as possible. You know, I don't have a high school uh, diploma. I don't have a college degree, none of that. So for me to, in, in order for me to get where I am and where I want to go, I have to make this thing simple. I have to keep this thing simple. So when I look at success and when I look at failure, again, I believe that there's only two ways that you can fail. That's by not starting and by number two, giving up. And I think a lot of people start and then a lot of people give up. And like you said, the accountability and the reassurance, you know, I've been in the industry since 2015. We've been consulting since 2018, um, which is quite some time. We've had thousands of people come through our program. And when 
working with the team, working with Laura, who's our program director, and working with Eileen, who's our client success manager, um, and really trying to identify why do people get stuck, like the psychology behind why people get stuck, the way that we cultivate our program and we help people and what we do and what I do myself is I make sure that there's a support system. Because if you're in constant action, right, and then you have constant accountability, what's going to happen as a result? Movement, right? Yeah. Movement towards where you want to go and where you want to be. So thanks for just hitting on that. And then hopefully, like those of you who are listening right now, that you grasp that. If you find yourself in inertia, which is the opposite of forward momentum, right? And you find yourself at a standstill or not where you want to be at, audit where you are and why you are there. And it sounds difficult, but it's, it's extremely simple, right? Many of us know what we need to do, know what we should do, and have a feeling of what we want to do. Yet, the, this indecisiveness, the lack of action is what's keeping us there. One thing, again, for those of you that watch these interviews with these amazing clients that are crushing it or listen to my content, study success because success leaves clues. Successful people are decisive, right? Undecisiveness is a disease. Like I generally believe that it is the it is the curse of execution, right? And sometimes it's analysis paralysis. So whenever you find yourself in a position where you're paralyzed and thinking wise and you don't know which direction you should do, I like to do an extremely simple um, um, process and I'll go ahead and draw it like so you guys can can do this together or you can do this whenever this happens. This exercise is extremely simple. I create a T just like this. Whenever you fall victim to analysis paralysis, I know where I should be, I know what I want to do, so on and so forth. Create a, a T. Best case, right? Worst case. That's it. And up at the top, you want to label it what the decision is, what, the, what is the thing. And you want to start listing out all of the best case scenarios. As a result of you doing this thing, what is the best case scenario? And on the opposite side, what is the list of all the worst case scenarios? And what you will notice is almost every single time that the best case scenarios outweigh the worst case scenarios or the best case scenarios are significantly better than the worst case scenarios, right? The risk is most definitely worth the reward. So, I mean, that was huge. And we're going to come to a conclusion. Like, we have two more questions. Um, and this has been super valuable. All I ask is that for the listeners and the viewers, that you do not become addicted to education and allergic to execution. Information changes situations through implementation. So take these gems, like Larry's already talking to you about what he did to become successful. You guys already know what I talk about and how I became successful. Take these notes, but most importantly, take imperfect action. So with that being said, like, how has your personal development changed like, as a part of being a part of the family and the program and coming through this whole coming through this whole um, you know, situation of building your business from the ground up over these years? And what are the future goals for your brand and for the Amazon business and real estate business? Okay, so my personal development has changed, right? So like I said, I come from a sports background. And um, I went to, in, in high school, I had the opportunity to go to Archbishop Hoban, which is a nationally ranked, mm. legendary team. They've won five championships in a row and then i had the pleasure of going to north which i graduated from which is a, a poor um school they don't do too much winning sometimes it's only 11 kids on the whole roster right wow so in that time period i i got a chance to sit with the successful coach you know the rich dad right and then i got a chance to sit with the the poor coach you know poor dad and i saw uh Something when I went to college because I played for the University of Akron U, right? We had two coaches, um, all losing seasons. I transferred um, because my, my coach was uh, fired, so he went to Kent State. So I followed him to Kent State, and they had a coach named Coach Hazel who came in from the Ohio State University or whatever. And it was the same thing I noticed in high school with the winning program and the losing program. And the winning program, because when I was at Kent, we were ranked uh, – 11th and we were competing for um the you know the top 10 spot so we we did some winning it was the organization 
the organization, when when you have a mentor or a program like AMZ and it's organized, you you have to follow through because if you do not follow through, it's on you. Mm. It's your fault. The way Josh set up the program that allowed me to grow within um, every, you know, the industries that I'm in is that when you organize something and it has an intro, a beginning, middle, and an end from step A to step Z, if I stop on step D, I can't blame Josh. I can't blame Eileen. I can't blame anybody else. The blame goes on me, and I'm not going to let myself down. Why would I do that? You know, I'm my biggest, I'm my team player, right? So the organization from the program was duplicatable. Mm. I was able to take what I learned from watching Josh, going through the program, and staying consistent, and I have actually duplicated that into my real estate company. Wow. And by organizing, hey, when I get up, this is the first thing I'm going to do when I get out of bed. I'm going to drink some water. I'm going to thank the Lord, right? I'm going to make sure that I'm in a, in a state because um, it was something else that I learned from Josh as well where he said um, sleep was non-negotiable. He needs his eight hours, right? I was, uh, you know, reading and on the Internet and watching all these gurus, and they're like, yeah, you need four hours of sleep, you know? Yeah, duh. Um, I think Donald Trump says he goes off of four hours of sleep. And I think uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a four hour of sleep guy. And I'm like, man, I've been trying this and I'm just not being productive. And Josh is like, no, sleep is imperative for me or otherwise I can't That's operate at the highest level. So what I do is I organize my day like this. Tuesdays and Thursdays are for this. Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays are for this. At this time, every day is family time at this time. Yep. And he he had that in his program. And I've taken that to my real estate company and my e-commerce store. And it's allowed me to set the grounds and the base where when I met Josh, I had five properties. Since I've met Josh, and I'm talking about, man, we do not talk often. I don't, I'm not on his Instagram every day. It's not something where he's just on my back just... Just, hey, he said this. Let me implement that. Since I've met Josh, my portfolio in less than five years has gone from five properties to 14 units. Wow. Praise God. Just implementing things. And and now with the launch of my, um, my Amazon store, which is six months old, now I'm taking that same process of organization that I was able to duplicate and learn from Josh. Now I'm going to implement that with the brand Crescent Comfort. Mm. We started with a product. Um, and I actually, I actually started a Q4. So for people who don't know, you know, a fiscal year is broken into quarters and Q4 is holiday season in America, which is the busiest time. Everything's up, you know, so anything you do is going to be up. I moved 10,000 10, plus in units in Q4 mm. without any uh, discounts. I missed Black Friday. I did not get the chance to participate in Christmas sales. Yeah, talk to him, man. Talk, you know what I mean? Like this, yeah. this is, the, this is the, the positive side of having someone who knows what's going on. And if you can mirror, if you can just, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, Somebody like Josh, they may they may have like a hundred different subcategories and plots that they do. Maybe you only you only get a handful of them. Maybe you only get five. But that same framework, I'm taking at the Crescent Comfort. So now that we have the pillow, and now I'm seeing this is a success. This is a, this is stable. This has become my bread and butter. Now within because we're in, we're technically in March now, but within the the next 18 months, I plan on having three to five more products to go off of my Crescent Comfort brand. And I want to start a separate brand, which I'm going to get with you later on, Josh. Oh, yeah. That, you know, that's something separate. But yeah, three to five in the next 18 months, 
new skews. I want to I want to wow. be able to That's grow fire. this brand and um operate it from a level with integrity. Mm. And it's funny because my mother she bought the pillow and she said, "Wow, this is I'm being honest." She said, "This is the best pillow I've ever I've ever had." Wow. And let's go. Yeah, it's 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 wow. awkward, right? Because you know that's from mom. She's she's biased. My mom is not biased. My yeah, mom yeah. Tell she me, can tell you it's trash. Do, you know, <laughs> like seriously, <laughs> like yeah. I wanted to do things like I, you know, I used to play basketball. I used to do. My mom would be like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, you you're not good at that." And it, you like, you killing my confidence right now. Yeah, you? yeah, uh, yeah. Mom go keep you know it a buck. Mean? Yeah. Like she's gonna let me know. She told me that this was the best pillow that she's ever had. And when she told me that, right, it was just more confirmation that, hey, I'm in the right place. I'm with the right people. The research worked. The mm. action worked. The time period for anybody who may be, you know, on the fence. Yep. I met Josh and I was aware of this program in 2019. It took me two years to start my LLC with him, which was in 2021. And then in 2023, we launched because in 2022, we went through a whole bunch of hardships, just different things that were happening out of our control. If you just stick with it, man, and you have that organized framework that I've, that I've been speaking about, that I've taken and I've duplicated, things become way more simple, mm. um, especially with time. As time is on your side, you know, you're, when you're doing the right things, time will pay you dividends. So th- that's kind of like the, the gist of it, man. That's what's... That's my plan, and, and that's what I took from being in the programs, the organization. That's fire. Well, listen, man, I appreciate you coming on here, man. You gave an immense amount of value to everyone. Congratulations. I'm incredibly proud of you, you know, not, not only to see you launch your business, surpass 10,000, the 100K Awards on the way, more SKUs is on the way, another brand's on the way, but you tripled, you, you tripled if not 5 x your, your real estate portfolio. I know we broke down some plays off the camera that I think is going to help you get to 100 properties in the next three years. I'm going to go ahead and speak that into existence on you, yeah, good brother. Yeah, we need some of that. Yeah, it's going to happen. It's not about how, it's about when. But I, I, I'm grateful for you. I appreciate you, man. And uh, thank you so much for coming on and just giving some game to the channel, man. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. I appreciate everything.